Springfield, Ohio, a town where many people are born, raised, and stay. It's a place with plenty of opinions when it comes to Haitian immigrants in the community. When, while you're asking for more money, include our homeless people. Include the, the, our veterans that are on the street, people that fought for this country. I've never seen a Haitian bum in front of Kroger's on East Main asking me for change. I've never seen a Haitian zombie high on dope, fentanyl, heroin. Never. You won't see it. Springfield is also a place where local leaders are working to dispel a lot of misconceptions. We have not received one dime for immigrants coming into our community. The homeless problem. I don't know of a single homeless Haitian in this town because they all got vouchers. We tell our kids not to bully one another. And I hear adults in our community saying the most hateful things. The very things we caution our children against. That's not the community we are. We are Clark County, Ohio. We are Springfield, Ohio. And that is not the community we want to be. While the debate noise continues in public meetings and on the streets of Springfield, inside the Haitian Community Center, you'll find sounds of preaching in Haitian Creole, pictures of Springfield's first Haitian immigrants mounted on the walls, and people like Villez Dorsonville and Dolores Numa hard at work. Numa is a volunteer and local college student studying medical billing and coding. Dorsonville is the center's executive director. When, when, when the rhetoric, the bad narrative were out there, there should be people who are there to tell what the truth is. He heard about Springfield from his nephew and came in 2020. Pure word of mouth. To my experience, I never know people paying people just to come here. Pure word of mouth. You, you are my friend. I tell you and you tell another friend that, that, that what in the, the news spread out there and, and Haitians come to Springfield. Like most Haitians, he came here for a good job, opportunities, and safety. And we are not refugees, we're just immigrants. So, um, um, and, and we are not normally eligible for money as this if this money is really out there because we are not refugees. So, I don't know, maybe they are misinformed. As the debate continues in town, many are hoping respect and acceptance will prevail. Don't spend this towards hate. In order to live like Aiden, you need to accept everyone. Choose to shine, make the difference, lead the way, and be the inspiration. For Dorsonville, while seeing rumors spread by national leaders has been one of the most shocking parts, here in Springfield, his work will continue, even when the spotlight has moved on. Every new beginning has its own challenges, so we have to face the challenges. And I, I think that at the end of the day, all of this is going to be behind us as we look for, as we want to be part of, of the solution. Finding solutions in Springfield while conversations continue on the national stage. Elise Underwood, Spectrum News. Thank you for watching our YouTube channel. For more stories in your communities, click the subscribe button right here. You can also download our app or watch us on TV for the latest information, balanced coverage, weather updates every 10 minutes and more. We'll see you then.